Freeport High School students have a new educational tool to help them learn about aquaculture. The state-of-the-art hydroponics and fishery greenhouse sits on the backside of the campus. As News 13's Kimber Collins tells us, the program will teach students real-life skills while the district could end up with a future business. An aquadome at Freeport High School allows students to raise fish and grow hydroponic crops. We are growing fish and we will keep them alive and grow vegetables off of their waste. And as they grow, eventually they'll get to a marketable size for the fish and we'll harvest the fish. The greenhouse hosts dozens of tanks, allowing students to learn about humidity and the atmosphere for success. Each day when we come out here, there's something else. How do we overcome that issue or that problem? Right now we're having very cold nights and we're trying to keep the fish at a certain temperature. So we've got to figure out how to keep the temperature at a livable level for them. Science teacher Julia Terrell, who has a background in fisheries, stemmed this new program. $500,000 in funding by the state made the Aquadome possible. Principal Donna Simmons says this helps any student in the long run. Even if they never go into anything related to aquaculture, they're getting that hands-on problem-solving experience, which is what life's really about, problem-solving and, and getting to work together in groups to, to figure those things out, which to me is a marketable um, skill no matter what. Simmons hopes to combine the aquaculture project with other career based groups to make the fresh crops and fish a future business for the district. In Walton County, Kimber Collins, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The school is partnering with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and the University of Florida Ag Extension Office to get the ball rolling. District officials say students interested in working with the Aquadome must register for agriculture studies classes.